coffee versus tea, which is better for boosting brain power. Although sleep might be the best agent to make your brain into a powerhouse, there are other alternatives too. Sleeping might sound relaxing and very doable when it comes to working late at night or when you are tired both mentally and physically. But sometimes, sleep might not come under your available options to refresh yourself and gain some extra energy. Thus, comes into the picture beverages. Now it's quite obvious to think of tea or coffee. While this is true, you might also be thinking which is better. Keep watching the entire video to know more. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to no way miss any update from our side. That being said, let's begin. Sometimes you might feel extremely tired and your mind might be pointing you towards taking an hour-long nap in a hot afternoon, but unfortunately, sleeping might not be in your deck of cards due to some strenuous task or activities or maybe work like having a marathon of meetings one after the other or a submission of a project that currently needs your attention and that has to be completed as soon as possible. In situations like these, people frequently tend to lean toward drinks that can refine their energy, make them feel refreshed and help them clear their foggy minds. Apart from just making you feel just freshened, it energizes you and makes you feel an adrenaline rush which can boost your productivity. But how does it do so? Caffeine is a stimulant drug that affects the brain straight and it has been shown without a distrust to accelerate alertness. Still, the effects of caffeine on memory are more mixed. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Some probes have shown that caffeine can enrich some types of memory, especially the global aspects of memory. Further in-depth study shows that the benefit of caffeine on memory is state-dependent. This means that caffeine only improves memory if it's used both at the time of taking the information in and at the time of recalling the information afterwards. A recent study led by researchers from the National University of Singapore, NUS, disclosed that regular tea drinkers have better arranged brain regions, and this is associated with fit cognitive function compared to non-tea drinkers. Recent Johns Hopkins University research indicates that caffeine may amend long-term memory, Participants who were given 200 mg caffeine tablets after studying a series of images were better at differentiating these stained images from similar ones when tested the coming day. There has been some promising study regarding the use of caffeine in aged grown-ups to neutralize the natural declines in memory that are associated with age. For instance, one study showed that caffeine reduced the afternoon decline in memory felt by morning people aged grown-ups who generally carry out better in the morning than in the afternoon. While caffeine has always been known to have cognitive effects, its particular effects on toughening memories and making them resistant to forgetting have never been examined in detail in humans. Although coffee contains additional caffeine than tea, tea has other chemical composites that upheave attention and focus. Multiple teas containing true teas hold an amino acid known as L-theanine. This amino acid helps to increase alertness, but delivers energy more easily than coffee. As we know, our brain power decreases over time. Therefore, we can do a lot of things that can assist us in keeping our brain healthy and memory stable. While sleeping and working Sudoku may sound helpful and pleasing, there's another thing you can do to keep your brain healthy. Yes, diet. You guessed it right. Boosting your brain power can come down to as little as what you drink. While drinking coffee in the morning can help you be wide awake, having tea in the afternoon may make you feel regenerated and energized. But which one of them is better? Is any of them preferable over the other? While the matter of tea versus coffee has been batted for times, let's compare these and break down their benefits and side effects bit by bit. First, coffee. Coffee is one of the most common drinks employed to boost energy levels. Coffee is a brewed drink prepared from roasted coffee sap, the seeds of berries from certain flowering plants in the coffee genus. It began in Eastern Africa, in a country called Ethiopia. Now to answer your question, why does coffee boost our energy? This is because it contains a natural stimulant called caffeine, which works by amping your brain and nervous system. This helps you stay alert and help burn out as well as boost brain power. Caffeine may amplify resting brain entropy. 
This describes the number of neutral states the brain can penetrate and is vital to brain function. Advanced brain entropy implies that your brain may have a higher capacity for data processing. Caffeine helps your brain release numerous different types of neurotransmitters, like dopamine, serotonin, noradrenaline, etc. While noradrenaline is responsible for your sleep-wake cycle, it increases effects like your attention to detail, memory, and focus. The notorious sense good hormone dopamine release is also increased by the consumption of caffeine. Dopamine interacts with the pleasure and price center of your brain. It's also responsible for your brain's control of movement. It does so by enabling neurons to communicate in your brain. Sicknesses such as Parkinson's disease where your body makes lower dopamine, whose imbalance leads to bodily symptoms. Coffee may help you fight Parkinson's disease. Serotonin, which helps to control your mood and anxiety, is also one of the hormones contained in coffee. Low levels of serotonin may bring internal illness and in some serious issues, it may also cause depression. Still, a high level of serotonin may also affect your body negatively, such as depleting your sexual thrill. In addition, your brain receptors for adenosine are linked with receptors for dopamine, the feel-good chemical. Coffee makes you chipper, not just because it's fighting off doziness, but also because it makes it easier for dopamine to do its job, which in turn increases your passion for pleasure. Coffee blocks the receptors for a chemical called adenosine. This compound stops the release of brain chemicals that drop excitement, which implies that blocking the release of adenosine may result in advanced situations of excitement. Therefore, gives you more energy and may enrich your internal performance. About 2 billion mugs of coffee are consumed daily worldwide. Still, non-stop drinking of large quantities of coffee may cause a habit of caffeine, and you may also develop a tolerance to caffeine, which implies you have to take in more and more coffee to have higher positive personal effects. Thus, it is advised for a healthy adult to have four cups of coffee on average. Now comes into the picture tea. It's a well-known fact that after water, tea is the most widely consumed drink in the world. While most types of tea have the same natural stimulant as coffee, be it oolong, green tea, or pure, there are herbal teas which are not derived from the Camellia sciences plant and are made from dried flowers, seeds, leaves, etc. Apart from caffeine, tea also contains another compound called L-theanine, which is an amino acid naturally found in the Camellia sciences plant, which is the plant most teas are made of. L-theanine helps to increase levels of neurotransmitters in your brain, like serotonin and dopamine. This is responsible for regulating a lot of things like sleep, appetite, mood, energy, concentration, alertness, etc. It may also help in decreasing your levels of stress and anxiety. Tea may also boost your memory. Green tea and black reportedly stop the activity of certain enzymes in your brain. These are the enzymes that help in controlling your memory and are also associated with the development of Alzheimer's disease. Both green and black tea inhibit the activity of the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. This is responsible for breaking down neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is essential for your memory and learning. People with Alzheimer's have lower levels of this neurotransmitter. However, tea also comes with nasty side effects just like coffee. Drinking too much tea may cause your body to not absorb iron from your food. This is because tea has a compound called tannins, which can cling onto the iron of your food, thus not allowing it to be absorbed by your digestive system. Tannins are the same component that gives your tea a bitter taste. As caffeine is an addictive substance, trying to self-medicate what you believe to be a poor memory may be making matters worse. For example, caffeine tends to interfere with your sleep and is followed by a withdrawal period, both of which can cause memory problems. While both coffee and tea may protect you from certain serious conditions like cancer and heart diseases, it also has a lot of negative effects. All in all, both the beverages have their pros and cons, and it's for you to choose which is suitable for you since it's your health, which matters the most in the end. If you are still confused, you can visit a doctor who can prescribe you what's best for you. While the debate between coffee versus tea continues, it'll be quite unfair for me to choose between them. Therefore, I'm leaving the same up to you to decide which one you think is better. With this, 
We have come to the end of the video. Do make sure to comment on what you think is the best. Is it tea or is it coffee? And that's it. At the end of the video, did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future videos.